The Victoria Foundation's mandate is to ensure money entrusted to them by donors is given to charities that are making a difference. Charities that sometimes get overlooked. But how to choose those charities? Well, why not look for guidance from leaders of our future? Here's V. Cooper to explain. Should we recycle it or keep it for next year? These two grade 12 students are the leaders of Oak Bay Secondary's youth outreach program. We can put purple up. Oak Bay is one of seven schools offering this course. The Victoria Foundation allocates $2,500 grants to nonprofit agencies across Greater Victoria, but high school students choose the charities. And we invite representatives from these charities to come in and talk to our group. And if we have the chance, we always love to volunteer at the charities who come in. That'll look good. Shannon Giesbrecht, who oversees the students, admits there's not much for her to do. They're constantly on top of it, coming to me and asking me questions. I don't have to play a huge role. Earlier this month, Bree and Emma emceed the grant presentation and talked about what they learned from this program. These presentations really spoke to us and moved us to, as Gandhi said, be the change we wish to see in the world. I would be extremely excited if we could come back and mentor youth in high schools. The first grant allocated from Oak Bay Secondary was to Peers, the Prostitutes Empowerment Education and Recovery Society. I think it speaks to the care of that group for uh, people in distress in, in their community and I think it serves as a really incredible demonstration of bridging between those of us who have a wide range of resources at our disposal and those of us in the community who for whatever reason at this point in life uh, don't have as many resources. The Oak Bay Youth Outreach Team could have allocated the $2,500 to as many charities as they liked. They gave every cent to Peers. Peers is a very small charity that I never knew existed before they came in and um, it was amazing to learn about all the workshops and programs that they gave to the people in need at their charity and um, like resume workshops and employability and computer skills and they gave these people the tools that they need to change their lives changing lives now and in the future too. I either want to be a vet or go into oncology because in the summer I was an intern at the cancer agency so it kind of opened my eyes to cancer research and I never thought I would really enjoy it as much as I would but I had so much fun in the summer so now it makes me want to go into it. They leave with a sense of that they have actually given something back to society. They're learning about volunteering all the time at school so these girls will volunteer forever. I, I know they will. Vital People is brought to you by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.